idiot of the bunch. I'm the idiot of the bunch. What is up, YouTube? I'm Nintendo Man 64, bringing you guys another episode of Pokemon Emerald. Now, I bet you guys are wondering why I'm an idiot. Well, when I did my post commentary of Aladdin using Fraps, I, w I decided I was going to turn off my ability to record while I was doing that game. And I pretty much ran right through Aladdin, and Aladdin is done as of this moment. It probably hasn't been fully uploaded yet, at this point, but I can tell you it is 100% done. I forgot to turn on recording of my voice. So yeah, you can hear the gameplay, you just can't hear me. And that's, and that's just unacceptable, guys. So this is a post-commentary, I'm just showing you guys a little quick bit about my team. I don't believe anybody changed too much. Uh, maybe someone learned a new move, I don't know. But we're gonna surf over here and make our way to Fortree City, all the way in the north. And we're gonna pick up this good rod from this guy right here. And, uh, the key about the good rod is, actually, we don't even need the good rod to get the Pokemon I'm looking for. It's just gonna need to be, uh, we're just gonna have to be patient with Fat Mini, because Fat Mini's gonna be here for a while, until I get another, until we get to Moss Deep City, and then I'll be, I'll be able to get the water type Pokemon I want. Uh, but we are definitely not done with Pokemon. We've got a long way to go, folks. And, and we're gonna start by taking on those two in a battle. You remember, Ty and Lily, or whatever the hell their names are, I don't even remember. They're not that important. Oh, Gabby and Ty, there you go. Um, yeah, do I really have to read these? I, I, I will, I'll read the important ones. This isn't really too important. Uh, but yeah, this is a double battle here. We got a double battle. Double battle, how many times can I say it? Uh, I'm surprised Magnemite didn't evolve yet. Or he didn't have a Magnemite evolve yet. I mean, Loudred is one thing, but Magneton would have made this thing a team a bit better. But I digress. It makes my job easier. Oh, Terra learned Dig. That's the one thing I did. I changed. I knew I changed something. I just didn't know what it was. Yeah, don't they all target? Yeah, they all target Terra for some weird reason. I don't know why. But uh, how are you guys feeling about Terra so far? Um, because like I said, the contest is still up there between uh. Terra and uh, bag the bag online, which I will be get. I will be catching bag on. I may not use it. That's the point that I'm trying to get to you guys, because apparently I'm getting a lot of people telling me I really need to keep Toadette. So I'm probably gonna keep Toadette. I don't know, guys. It's 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 fun, I guess, but overall, not the best. Oh yeah, I put Downcast. Let's see what I give him. Oh, I remember what I gave him this time. Oh, this one's a gem, too. I'm probably gonna pee my pants when I laugh at it, too. I definitely enjoyed what I did did for this one. If it is what I did. If it is what I think it was. Oh, yeah, it is! <laughs> we took Go Home! What's the interview? Downcast? This one? Go Home! You're pathetic! Go Home! We got a fisherman up here. The, the difficult part that I found out about this game so far as I botched trying to switch to Pokemon there is the fact that I'm having a hard time leveling everybody up because there aren't that many, like whatever, like there aren't that many water types to level up against for grass wise. That's like the best thing grass works with. And there are, the only wa water types you can really fish for at this point are Carvana and Tentacle, and they don't really give, and Magikarp, obviously, and they don't give you much experience, which has been, which is the part that annoys the crap out of me with this game. Um, yeah, it's very frustrating, this, this game, just to try to get certain Pokemon to level up. Uh, yeah, but this and the next episode will be post-commentaries. Uh, we managed to get to Fortree City in, within these next two episodes, but you guys get the draw. Have I ever mentioned I hate confusion? Because I really do. I remember in this episode distinctly, the only real thing that you guys missed of my commentary from these last few episodes 
is my rant about how much I hate confusion. Not much else really happened. Where's my water bottle at? Today's water is brought to you by Smart Water, again! Oh yeah, I'm looking... I'm trying to explain to you guys here why I'm going through all my TMs. Is because I don't have that many physical attacking TMs outside of Facade and Focus Punch. And I don't know who I'm going to teach Facade to. I think I'm probably going to teach it to Toadette. But the problem is, I don't have that many physical thing, attack moves. And look at Chocobo. I mean, Chocobo has a lot of really weak attacks. When you really take the time to look at him. Oh, it's Steven. Hey, Ant-Man64. It's me, Steven. We met in the cave near Duford. Have you met many kinds of Pokemon since I last saw you? There are many, many kinds of Pokemon in this wide world of ours. If you wanted to raise only your favorites, that's fine. Perhaps you find it more fun to raise all sorts of Pokemon. As a trainer of Pokemon, what do you think? Of course, it's not many of my business. Thank you for wasting my time then, Steven. Thank you very much, you useless bastard. I can't wait to kick your ass later in this game, dude. Cannot wait. An Electrike? Bitch, I have an Electrike. And it evolved. Oh, and I forgot to heal, uh... I forgot to heal Maria, apparently. I need to actually conserve my Aladdin videos, because there are only five of them. But the biggest thing about those videos is the fact that at the end of, uh... During the end credits of Aladdin, I reveal what my next big LP is. And I'm not really sure I'm willing to reveal that yet. Just saying, guys. I'd like to keep you guys in the dark for a little bit. And I also have to finish Mario Party. Uh, probably gonna record Bowserland today while I'm recording this. Um, I did two episodes yesterday. Those two episodes that I lost the recording for, the audio for at least, are the ones where, which I'm doing right now, I'm doing that, and then I'm probably gonna do Bowserland. Um, in between, I may do another project or two. Like, mini projects, obviously. Um... The problem is, I don't have access to that many games, like, a lot of the Disney games, other than Aladdin and Lion King and possibly Toy Story, I'm gonna be going into really blind. I don't remember playing a lot of these games that much. Like, I make the joke in, uh, when we were doing, uh, that doesn't sound good, someone's down my block, and if it's who I think it is, that's not good at all. I'll be right back. Un minuto. Nope, false alarm. It's just some idiot in a jeep, but who cares? Uh, but I made the joke like Pocahontas that I'm never gonna play Pocahontas. And I'm probably not going to. Alright, we got a double battle up here. I don't remember what this fight was. I believe there's a, uh... A, uh, one of these guys has a bug type, and the other has an Absol. And I'm very curious, because I ran a test run of this. As you guys know, when I play these Pokemon games, I play one on the side to strategize what kind of team I should build for the game, obviously. The problem is, I ran into a Buzzsaw at the, uh, Moss Deep City Gym, which is much later on into the game. I ran into a huge buzzsaw. Uh, that gym, I'm not going to tell you exactly what type it uses, but let's just say I may want to consider getting either an Absol or a ghost type, because Absol is a dark type, and it's a really good type. Really powerful, but it has, like, no special defense whatsoever. So if... Your Pokemon, and that doesn't really have that much good defense either. It's pretty much a basic, pure power attack monster thing. So I'm debating whether or not I should use that or I should go for another Pokemon. Um, I Because the way my team is constructed now, it is not the best. I will admit that. <coughs>
it is definitely not constructed for this certain type of Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm debating if I'm gonna do a few minor projects in between. Uh, the catch has been so far the fact that I want to, uh... Shit, what was I gonna say? I don't even remember what I was talking about. Oh yeah, the mini projects. Uh, the biggest problem with doing that, like I said, is the fact that I'm not that in tune with some of them. I mean, I remember playing Aladdin religiously growing up. The same with Lion King. Uh, but Beauty and the Beast, the Roar of the Beast, which is one that, uh, Dietzy wants me to play. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that, because I have literally no clue how to play it. Fantasia, I may do. That may be one of the ones where it's like, that's so awful, I have to play it. That game makes literally no sense whatsoever, according to so many people I've talked to. Um, I'm, that may be one I have to play, either at some point or later on in the, uh, or later on in the, uh, speak scheme of things. And hold on a second, I gotta, I gotta look at this video. Just for, just for a brief second. Let me see. If I missed something. Yeah, look at that. I used Fake Out on Dust Talks and it didn't flinch. It didn't say that it's it was prevent something prevented it from flinching. All it just did was said, nope, it's just not flinching. That's bullshit, okay? I don't care what the fuck Dust Talks' special ability is. Fake Out makes you flinch, you butt fucker. God, I hate Dust Talks so much. And I hate this stupid non-psychic type run I decided to give for myself. If I hadn't done that, I'd have so much fun kicking ass and taking names with these Pokemon. Just saying. Alright, I definitely cut up here. So... Yeah, there's that. Yeah, I cut to get all the berries over here after we fight, down, fight the trainer. Um... But yeah, Pocahontas I'm probably not gonna play. Little Mermaid, I may. I, I don't know. I've never I've never played that one. Jungle Books one, I may. I don't even know, guys. Truth be told. It all depends on how well Aladdin's received. So far, it's pretty well received. Not, like, amazingly received. Like, I've had better opening numbers for a weekend. And great, granted, I just uploaded Aladdin yesterday. And that was June 28th. Um... It has about 50 views now. It's not bad, but it obviously could be better. I mean, Mario Party, for example, gauges a lot more views than that. Probably because it's Mario Party. But I digress. I definitely do cut up here. So you're gonna see that in a flash, like right about there, there you go. All the berries are gone. Because I really didn't really have... I really didn't have much of a... The patience to deal with that. I talked to the berry guy here. And he gives us berries. Because apparently we're nice. I don't know. Not a lot happens in this episode. I actually do catch a Pokemon in this episode though. Not one I'm going to add to my team. But one that... I'm actually intrigued about, and I may end up actually using in Pokemon Platinum if I can get a hold of one. And that is, uh, I will obviously see the Pokemon later, so I'm not gonna really, uh, I'm not really gonna do much and talk much about it. But you give this girl, you give this woman a decent saying and she'll give you a berry, and we get the Chesto Berry. That's not bad. Not bad at all. But we must progress. It's actually a Pokemon I'm really interested in using. Maybe not in this, but maybe in like Pokemon Showdown. Which I've actually looked into, and it's actually not that bad. The only catch is... Being having not played any Gen 5 or 6 games... I was surprised at what you need to do to do Mega Evolutions and stuff like that. It's Kind of annoying, but it's passable. 
Oh, and everybody, all the good people on there are cheating assholes. I know people like to say, oh, they're not cheating. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, yes, they do. Their whole pure strategy is about toxic poisoning and throwing out rocks. So you get Pokemon get hurt when you try to switch them out. Such a dick move. But I think I built a pretty decent team for that. Not flawless by any means, but it's actually not too bad. Oh, I'm doing the Mimic Circle here. So, lots of Bug-type battles coming up. Just giving you guys that heads up. None of them are really interesting. It's just me kicking the crap out of Bug-types. And these assholes use friggin' evasiveness spells and all that crap. That nobody likes, and it's just a dick move to piss off impatient gamers like me. Which, by the way, I know my channel isn't the biggest. In fact, I'm 100% sure it's not the biggest LP channel because I didn't get a, I didn't get to appear in my own South Park episode. But let me just be the first to say that I'm amazed with the amount of people I get like messages from and texts from with asking for advice on how to build stuff from. I mean, even Roshank's got a better channel than me now. I mean, he started only a couple months back. Now, I've been gradually growing mine, slowly but surely. I mean, I think it was at the start of last... When I first did Mario Party, I had about 200 subscribers. The first Mario Party videos, which are not on YouTube anymore. So you can't find them anywhere, guys. So don't think that you can find them, because they're literally nowhere on YouTube. Um, I do use Quick Attack, I get rid of Peck. It may come to bite me in the ass later, but I digress. <coughs> I think I had Peck the whole time just to deal with fighting types, but it doesn't really help when you're not a flying type, so I digress. Uh, but I'm getting a lot, I get a lot of texts and calls from people who want help. Not texts, I like messages and stuff. I actually find it really refreshing, you know? Makes me feel wanted. But since Mario Party's gone up, I've gone I've gained about 300, 400 subscribers. I'm very proud of that. It's been a lot of work. If any of you guys think you can make it big on YouTube, it's gonna take a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of patience, and if you really don't have that, you're not in the right business. Because I can assure you guys, this is not something you're gonna gar you're guaranteed success in. I think I'll go with Fat Mini to take on the, uh, Cascoon. Very difficult to do these post-op commentaries. Especially for something like this that I don't really know what happens for most of it. Um, I know we do catch a Pokemon later on. Definitely not early on, though. We gotta get to, uh... Oh, excuse me. We gotta get to, uh... Get closer to the Weather Institute first. And don't worry, I turned on the, uh, sound for later episodes, so you really don't have to worry about that. We're gonna be back to that all talking and me being... Oh my god, you get to see my reaction after we do a couple of things. Oh, I just got a text. Well, from my good buddy, Jack. Sure, why not? Jack's just so obsessed because he just got back from college. And the problem is for Jack, he's, uh, he's abroad, obviously. His biggest problem is, uh, the fact that because he was on his own... His parents weren't really sending him much, like, in the terms of food and all that stuff. So he's lost, like, 
<coughs> like 20 pounds. And he wasn't a fat kid, he was a skinny kid. Now he's like... Now he's like just amazing. Um... And now that uh, he knows that I have uh, gym membership at Planet Fitness, now he wants to get involved. So he makes me, he wants to go every night. So I just got a text from him. He's like, what time, what time? I'm like, IDK, 6 maybe? I mean, it's 2 o'clock now. Um... But yeah. Andy, I, I wasn't even paying attention to what the hell just happened. In these videos, I think I just made a, a couple of crack jokes about uh, how that guy was stupid for having a uh, trying to get a whole flock of seagulls and shit. I don't know. But we do the bike thing here, and I have a lot of problems with the controls apparently. I do have a lot of impatience with this thing, the acro bike. Like, I didn't know it took, like, this much precision timing with my controls. I'm not using the controller for this, obviously. I'm using the keyboard. <coughs> uh... But yeah, there really isn't much else up there. Um... But yeah, I get a lot of comments from people who are interested in... That, uh, collab-wise, like, collaboration, like, I even got someone when I, on, I had my sick video where you guys saw I had my, like, I, I was really sick, um, someone offered me a, uh, partnership opportunity, like, to do a collaboration, uh, until I'm a lot better and, like, more successful, the only collabs I'm really gonna do are with, uh, Pebbles and Shroomy. Like I said, we have the, uh, Shroomy and I have the Mario Kart plan. Definitely doing that. Even if I have to drag his ass all the way over here. Because we're going to Splish Splash at some point this summer. The water park near here on Long Island. Uh... What was I gonna say? There's something else. <clears throat> yeah, but anyway, we don't really have that much, uh, in the way of, uh, I don't really have that much really planned in the way of collabs. Like, I'm not sure I want to do collabs with people until my channel is more successful. Like, when I get more money to do things and experiment more. Hey, let's just hope I win the Publisher's Clearinghouse. That would be amazing. <clears throat> Sorry about that. One second. I think the real difficult part is that there aren't that many games that are fun to collab with. Um... Like, Mario, like, Super, the new Super Mario Bros. game, yeah. Super Mario 3D World, yeah. Super Smash Brothers Subspace Emissary, yeah. Okay, I get it, Jack. You're happy you want to go to the gym. Awesome. Fan friggin' tastic. Now leave me alone. I swear to fuck, if I get one more text from him, I'm gonna go without that asshole. Leave him at the front of the door and having to sign all those paperwork to get his own friggin' uh, membership. That's just what he is. He's a mooch. But I love Jack. He's awesome. He wants to get a part. He wants to be a part of this. But he doesn't have the time. That's his problem. Like, he's never around. And when he's around, I'm either immersed in something, immersed in another project that doesn't require an extra player, like Pokemon Heart Gold, or... Uh, Kingdom Hearts. Now, Kingdom Hearts is a special thing with, uh... With, uh, Shroomy. That's, that's what we... Shroomy and I made a pact to each other that we would do this. With each other one day. Uh... Hold on a second. Sorry about that. But anyway, this was, uh... 
what we really planned on doing the whole time, him and I. We had never had an intention of doing something other than this with each other. I really don't know what I'm planning here. I really don't know, honestly. Um, I know there's definitely a Pokemon we're catching at some point. And I'll know to cut the commentary off when we get to the Weather Institute. Um, I don't even know right now. I really don't, guys. I believe we have about four minutes left, so... Why don't we keep going? Oh, yeah, there's definitely a trainer up here that has, uh... I think it's this bird trainer up there that has the, uh, Pokemon I catch over here. <clears throat> but I don't intend on using said Pokemon, though. I may use it in, uh, Platinum, though. I will admit that, because it's actually a pretty decent Pokemon. It actually, it all depends on what I use for Platinum. I mean, I'm obviously not going to use it if I pick the, cert the starter that matches its type. Um, oh, no, it's not a bird trainer. It's the Kindler. Whatever. Wunderbar, Wunderbar, Wunderbar. I got to do Bowser Land at some point today, though. I have not recorded Mario Party since before I was sick. This is my first Pokemon recording after I was sick. The only thing I did before that was release videos and make Aladdin. Like, release the videos I already had recorded and obviously do, uh, Aladdin. But here it's actually not that bad. I honestly don't think... I, as much as I like to say my team is good here, I'm not that confident. I think we just need more powerful moves, but I digress. Oh, this guy. This guy has the, tri the Pokemon I'm interested in. Not him. Fuck him. Fuck Wingle. The single most worthless Pokemon. And there you go. Tropius, which is actually a really good grass type. It's really weak to ice types, but it's got great special defense. I remember using it when I played Ruby the first time, and it was a really good Pokemon. <coughs> like, a really good Pokemon. Like, let's say it was, like, one of my second best Pokemon I've ever had, period, for Pokemon Ruby. Obviously, the best was uh, my Swampert that I had in that game, level 100. By the end of it, it knew Surf, Earthquake, Brick Break, and something else. I don't remember what the last move was. I think it may have been Ice Beam. But I digress. I'm looking for the Tropius here. Not that much longer in the video, guys. I believe I set myself a limit of 10 Pokemon. Tropius is pretty hard to find. But if you, if you raise it well, Tropius can be like a, an insanely good member of your team. Which is what I see from Metropius that I really want to get, uh, to add for my team. But I'm not using Tropius, as I've said. I already have more than enough grass types. Plus, I want to get a dragon involved on my team. And Tropius is not a dragon. It looks like Littlefoot. And here we are at the Weather Institute, guys. Uh, that'll be an episode. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm Nintendo Man 64. Join me next time where we go inside the Weather Institute. Until next time, sayonara.